We have all seen science fiction movies where a team of brave astronauts climb aboard a spaceship and are rocketed off into outer space. After leaving Earth's atmosphere, the crew sets forth on a journey ahead, traveling to the moon, Mars, or some other region of deep space. This is a tale as old as time, one we've seen in so many different science fiction films that it's hard to even remember an example of the top of your head. In these movies, the crew is always walking alongside their spaceship, or space station. They wander around just like they would here on Earth. But wait, how's that even possible? Doesn't gravity have a lesser effect in space than on Earth? That's right, there is far less gravity once you leave Earth or a planet. Yet the people in these movies are always prancing around as if this isn't a problem. That's because in science fiction, artificial gravity exists, even though it still doesn't here in the real world. At least not yet. Artificial gravity has always been something that many scientists and engineers have wanted to turn from fantasy into a reality, even though there has been no success just yet. There are many reasons why artificial gravity is important. In fact, there are some pretty serious ones related to the health and well-being of astronauts. Still, it has yet to leap from the movie screen to the real world, but it might soon. Yes, artificial gravity might be around the corner, and it might be thanks to a man who seems to be at the center of so many scientific marvels lately. You guessed it, it's Elon Musk. So what has Musk been planning when it comes to artificial intelligence, and how is it going to change the world of space travel as we know it? Well, to start off, what even is gravity? This might seem like a silly question since literally everyone you know and everything you interact with is affected by gravity. That's like asking someone, what's oxygen? But it's important to have a solid understanding of what gravity is and why it's so important. Gravity is a fundamental force that attracts objects with a mass towards one another. The bigger the object, the more mass it has. The more mass it has, the more it will attract other objects towards the center. An object that is a mammoth, like the planet Earth, has more mass than we could possibly imagine, and with that comes a whole lot of gravity. But gravity decreases with distance. The further you, an object, get away from a large center of mass, the less gravity there is. The moment a NASA or SpaceX crew leaves Earth's atmosphere, they will start to experience far less gravity. The pull of the Earth below will become weaker and weaker. After a short distance into space, there will be no gravity at all, and these people will just be floating around free of the gravity they once knew their entire life. That doesn't sound too bad though, right? Letting yourself drift around in space, in a space station or a ship, actually seems to be pretty appealing and exciting. But there is far more to it than that. A lack of gravity can have a serious impact on the body. Bones and muscles will weaken when they aren't experiencing gravity. This makes a lot of sense when you really think about it. They don't have to work as hard when gravity is pulling them down. That makes them much weaker. Blood and other bodily fluids also don't flow normally without gravity and can collect in parts of the body. One of the results of this can be a loss of hearing and other illnesses too. So while the concept of drifting in zero gravity does sound pretty fun, it can do quite a number on you. Elon Musk knows this. He also knows that he is planning to eventually send his SpaceX crews and customers far into the deep reaches of space. The journey to Mars alone is about 120 days. That is more than enough time to start to feel the impact of no gravity. And while Mars does have 40% of Earth's gravity, a lot of damage could be done in that time. Many astronauts returning home have had a hard time adjusting to life and moving around like normal. Even a seasoned pro like Scott Kelly struggled to walk when he came back from a long mission in the stars. Obviously, if we plan to conquer the stars and spend a lot more time in space, something has to be done. How can Elon Musk and SpaceX avoid the problems of no gravity when they are creating missions that might keep travelers away for months, if not years? Musk has recently commented on this when he was pressed about it on Twitter. One of his followers asked the simple question, has SpaceX considered tethering two crew starships to create artificial gravity on the way to Mars and beyond? Musk's answer was a simple yes. How would this work? And more importantly, would it work? Yes, this is a viable option for the starship. You might have seen in movies that some futuristic spaceships are built like a giant rotating wheel. This configuration, known as the Von Braun wheel, is a concept for a space station that would create artificial intelligence by its spin. 
It's an idea that you probably have experienced yourself. If you've ever been on a fair ride that spins around, you know, like those teacups that upset your stomach, then you probably felt centrifugal force. This force pulls us to the outside edge of the ride as it spins and spins. Now, instead of these tiny teacups on that ride, imagine a much larger spinning vessel and you can start to understand how an astronaut would experience gravity even in the cold, deep reaches of space. In principle, this idea could work. However, as you can probably imagine, it won't be too easy to construct and it'd be even harder to maneuver. It might lend itself to a space station, but a spaceship? Probably not. Take SpaceX, for example. The Starship is obviously not designed like that, nor could it easily be altered. So this is an option that Musk couldn't pursue if he was trying to create artificial gravity. That's where the concept of tethering comes in so handy, and why it sounds so right for Starship and SpaceX. If two Starships were tethered together and spinning around the center of that tether, it would essentially act just like the rotating Von Braun wheel would. This way, we can allow astronauts to experience gravity on their long trips to Mars, or practically anywhere. If the two ships were tethered around their mated tails, that would create centrifugal force. The best part about this is that SpaceX could customize the specifics so that those on board could experience the exact amount of gravity that they would feel when they got to Mars. This way, the crew would arrive on the red planet already adjusted to the gravity levels that they're walking into and they will be ready to start their missions right away. This idea of using two ships in a rotating fashion has been around for a long time. In fact, it's a concept that's been floating around, no pun intended, since SpaceX first announced the Starship way back in 2016. Many people have seen it as the most probable, safe and effective way to deliver artificial gravity. It seems like it follows basic physics, and it also seems like the fastest way to getting the results that Musk and SpaceX need. But there have been no tests done on this method of creating gravity. NASA toyed around with it in the 1960s, but nothing since then. So that means that not even Musk knows how well it's going to work. It's all theory right now. Perhaps that's why Musk's tweet about this method was short and lacking any real substance. He understands just how challenging this task will be, and he's probably well aware that it might not work like some people are thinking. It's the best option, but mostly because it's the only viable one that SpaceX has right now. But when you think about the variables and the cost, you can start to understand why Musk might be a bit hesitant to take this route. A Starship is a costly vehicle. An awful lot of work goes into creating this marvel of modern science. Now SpaceX will need two for every long journey? That definitely won't come cheap, will it? But this concept of tying two Starships together is currently the smartest approach SpaceX has for creating artificial gravity. And as we said, it's something that is desperately needed. As Musk and his team create new vessels and vehicles to take humanity further than it's ever gone before, they need to be contemplating ways to give these brave men and women a solid footing in space. Artificial gravity has been a concept for a long time, and it's one that astronauts have studied and longed for. In the near future, it might become a reality, and when it does, it will truly change the way we travel through space.